not my research area, so I guess you're asking me to speculate on you know, basically yeah. how we're going to handle this monster, right? I think it's, it's the enemy of evidence-based discussion, essentially. It's the polar opposite. Uh, you let something loose out there, it polarizes the debate. You can't get in there and actually convince people anymore. It's what Professor David was, was mentioning in his article, that you would rather adjust your interpretation of evidence and reality rather than adjust your ideology. I think it's fueling that kind of positioning. So, one, I, I think I agree with you that it's, it's a big risk for it's a big risk for our country, especially our young people that get them to sort of latch onto social media. But I think we are not completely defenseless against these types of trends. We have think tanks like PIDs, academic partners, academia. We have a young generation that actually should have human capital over uh, time, education and health uh, investments and so on. Uh, I think that that would be our weaponry against uh, that kind of disruptive uh, innovation, if you want to call it that. Um, and then, of course, I think we need uh, stronger politicians, if you ask me. People who can bridge the divide, not leverage it. Because basically, they're winning on leveraging the divide even more. So, so I think we need that new breed of politician among the political parties, if there ever were going to be that kind of new breed.